look at you. You ain't have the look of a local, son. Think you could help a sick woman get on the man? Reckon it's the orange fever. I do feel light in my head. Now that is just an awfully rude thing to say, sweetie. Well, I... Oh, fine, maybe you're no hog's fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten the deal with 300 caps. Tell you what, have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two there. More than enough to loosen you up, I'll wager. This and that. Let me know when you want to work out the details. There aren't too many ingredients, but I brew large batches, so we need a good bit of each. We'll need a punga fruit, yeast, and some fission batteries for that extra little kick. I thought you'd never ask. Don't be a stranger now! Well, if it ain't my favorite out-of-towner. We need to gather up the ingredients. I see you sprung for the refined fruit. Good for you, sweetie. We need to gather up the ingredients. I see. Thank you kindly for these. We need to... I thought so. Those things do carry a smell, don't they? Let me take them off your hands then. Brewing low and slow, sweetie. 
process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? Sweetie, tonics brewed and bottled. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. Don't be a stranger now. Well, if it ain't my f Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? I reckon you've got a deal, sweetie. But I better notice a difference in the tonic. <laughs> 